Welcome to the tutorial breaking down the extra views. In this tutorial we're going to focus on cutting apart and breaking down the three-quarter and profile view. So in the last tutorial you saw the, uh, the, the types of layers that we created here. What we're going to do for the three-quarter and profile view is make the exact same cuts in the exact same way. So we're going to focus on the main parts first, so just the body, the two arms, the two legs, and the head, and then we're going to go in again and then uh, break them down into smaller parts, so forearm, hand, ears, tail, things like that. Um, if you'll notice as I scroll across, the guide disappears, so I'm just going to extend that quickly. And I can do that by right-clicking in the cell and saying extend exposure or by using the keyboard shortcut F5. So now the guide runs across the three views. So this is going to be a little bit different um, than uh, cutting up the rabbit for the first time in the first view. And you'll see exactly what I mean. So let's start here with the three quarter view. And I'm going to start with the head. And then I use our keyboard shortcut, Command F9. Once again, you're going to get the Create Drawing from Drawing Selection dialog box. So this time, instead of creating a new layer name, we're going to select from the drop down so that we keep putting these um, body parts onto the correct layer that's already been created for them. So this is the head. So we're going to go to um, Karate Rabbit Head. And because we are in the second column, it's just going to be inserted beside the first cell where we have the front view of the head. And this time, because we're just doing the big body parts, if you remember, we don't cut artwork from source for the main body parts. But when we start cutting the secondary body parts, that's when we cut away from the source. So we're going to say OK. And then if we scroll up until we find the head, we see the head has two drawing cells in its uh, row here, and the first one being the front view head and the second being the three-quarter view head. So I'm going to continue along and do that um, possibly with a sped up sequence um, to the entire cartoon rabbit. Okay, so I cut down the five main parts, and as you may have realized, we can only see one arm here, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't have two arms for the three-quarter view. And what we're going to do is after we do the tutorial where we clean up this arm, so we get rid of any of the artwork that doesn't belong to the arm and round off its edge, what I'll do is copy this arm and stagger it slightly and put it on the correct layer in the correct column to make up for the arm that's missing. Um, so let me continue with the profile view now. Okay, so just like um, in the three-quarter profile view, view, we're missing not only an arm, though, we're also missing a leg. So like I explained before, we're just going to add those in um, later on after we've done cleanup. So now that I have um, the main parts from the two other views, the profile and three-quarter view, cut out, I'm going to start breaking down the secondary views. So I'm going to do exactly what we did um, for the front view. I'm going to go to the Second drawing for the body, for example, I'm going to this time just select the tail, which is what I want. Um, and if you want, you can also lock and hide the rabbit model so that um, you don't accidentally start cutting from it. And then I'm going to make sure that the correct cell from the correct layer is selected. 
and then go in and make a very precise cut around the tail. So I'm going to zoom in so I can make that precise cut. And then I'm going to use the Command F9 keyboard shortcut and the Karate Rabbit tail it has already been chosen for the destination layer. And this time I do in fact want to cut artwork from source. So I'm going to say OK. And now if we hide all the layers from view and just look at the tail layer, we'll see yes, it's been in fact cut cleanly. And same with the body layer. And that little bit of wood is very easy to eliminate as is um, completing the tail uh, so that it'll sit behind the robe. And I'm going to continue doing the rest of that for um, the two views.
So before I continue with the profile view, there are two things that I wanted to point out. Um, the first being that I actually had uh, uh, some trouble with the eyes and I realized later um, that it was because they were grouped. So in the previous tutorial, even though I was cutting from source, I realized between the two videos that the eyes were not actually cut out properly and I went back for the front view and I actually cut out the whites of the eyes and the pupils properly and here you saw me um, if you noticed, I had to go and, and change to the select tool and then go to the edit menu and use the group, ungroup um, for the eyes before I could cut them out properly. The second thing I wanted to bring to your attention is that as I was doing that, I was verifying by um, hiding everything from view and then selecting you know, a certain uh, layer or drawing to view. The problem is if you then decide to cut um, from this layer, uh, you do your Command F9 or your just F9 in Windows, you'll notice in the drop down list, I can even do it now, um, that none of the layers appear for your destination layer that exist in your current timeline, and that's because they're all disabled. So, in order to be able to send anything you cut from this layer to another layer, you have to enable all the layers. So those are two things just to look out for as you continue working. Okay, so I believe I'm done cutting out everything for the profile layer. Um, you may have noticed a few times I forgot to click on the cell, so be sure as you're cutting the correct cell and layer are selected in the timeline. Um, and with something tricky like this, uh, you have to really get in there with the lasso tool you might have seen, and I really had to come follow closely uh, to make that precise. But once again, in cleanup, it'll be really easy to fix any kind of rough cuts that I may have made. Um, so that's it for the tutorial, breaking down the extra views. Stay tuned for the next uh, video tutorial pack.